Okay, we continue. We try now to uh, scale the data. Okay, to have everything within the scale. Uh, every step now we are doing, we did it already earlier with the training data. So, maximum data frame. Now, just we need to consider only the variables that are curvature, elevation. So, because already the aspects now from just one and zero. Okay, no need to uh, do anything else with them. Also, for the land cover, already they are zero and one. Just about the curvature, elevation, slope, SPI, TWI. So they are one, two, three, four, five. So we'll choose just one, two, five. We will convert them. We scale them. The others they will keep fixed. So for the maximum here, minimum one to five. Okay, now also this one will be scaled. So now we have uh, a new. Uh, variable called uh, raster uh, uh, sorry new data frame uh, it has the scaled data so we will work on this one now it's already scaled but you see now it's missed the aspect and the curve uh, the land cover so we will add them now C bind raster from 1 to 2 the raster dot data frame what is this one if you see this one it's 1 2 it's the X and Y Yes, we want to connect X and Y and we want to connect the, with the scaled data and also we need to add the aspect and the land cover from the data frame. So we'll take this part, we'll take this part and also we will take the scaled data. So you see we are connecting three data frames now together. One, two, three. It we will call it again. This is the scaled, so we will connect. No need to change the name, as I said. Okay, done. Raster, where is the scaled? Yes, X and Y. The the uh, normal uh, uh, numerical values here five and the aspect on the land cover now all the data ready now it's ready to start the uh, prediction and then double check this one just the final check as we want to compare between all the inputs the variables for the raster scaled and also the the training scaled uh, uh, and also with the uh, cover rates the cover rates that it was included uh, because in the same way you can check like this maybe you said you check with the data with the training data but let's see where is the uh, what I'm looking for I'm looking for scaled yes scaled train if you check now this one okay with the uh, raster scaled you might be similar but during the neural net uh, function you removed one variable for example possible you don't want to add this variable and you removed it because sometimes you said if you want to increase or enhance the accuracy of the results based on the gg plot based on the bearwise plot you want to remove one of those variables because it's not effective so how do i know that you already removed it or not during the uh, the function of neural net it's better that I just go directly to the covariates that's inside the neural net and I check what it was inside okay what already we used better than I go just to see the scaled train that built the model earlier so if you check here in the covariates you see that TWI slope okay elevation curvature a b c d until h and until l6 great so this is a, a check now for us scaled we have x and y extra and we have the l7 extra we should remove those uh, variables okay that's a good check